here from newhometricks.com and today I'm taking another stab at controlling Philips Hue using Cortana in Windows 10. Now you may remember the video that I did on this topic previously. We used a third-party app, Hutro, to extend Cortana to provide this level of capability. And that was because at the time Cortana didn't have any direct integration with smart home devices. Now using Hutro was okay, but you, were, you had to be very careful with how you phrased your voice commands to Cortana. If you didn't phrase them just right, it wouldn't work and Cortana would default to a web search. Now, to be fair to Hutro, they have updated their app a bit since that time, and I probably need to go back and redo some videos looking at those third-party apps to see how well they work now. But nevertheless, since that time, Microsoft has now launched their own integration between Cortana and a variety of smart home devices. Now, at the time of making this video, that support isn't available everywhere. It's only available in the United States. But nevertheless, even if you're not in the US, you can still give this a try by simply changing uh, Cortana's language in Windows 10 settings. So to set this up, it's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, first of all, if you are outside the United States, you will need to change the language of Cortana. Now, don't worry, it's not going to change the language of the whole operating system, just purely the language that Cortana is using. So to do that, you go into Windows 10 settings, into Cortana settings, and then set the language to United States. Once that's done, you go into Cortana, open Cortana's notebook, and go into the Connected Home section. There, you simply turn on the Connected Home feature, sign in with your Microsoft account, if you haven't already done so. Once that's done, the list of available smart home systems that you can integrate, it, uh, integrate with will then pop up. Obviously, we're interested in Philips Hue, so you select that and choose Connect. Again, there's another login process to go through here. You need to sign into your Philips Hue account. Now, note here that the Cortana system isn't connecting directly to your Philips Hue bridge. You're not having to discover your bridge and then go and press the button on the front of it. Instead, the integration that Microsoft have done here seems to be through the Philips Hue web system. So you're going kind of via the cloud here to have this level of integration. But once that's done, Cortana will then discover all of the available lights, rooms, and scenes, and you can then start using voice control to do that, as per this example here. Turn on the master bedroom lights. All right. I'm turning on the master bedroom. Turn on Arctic Aurora in the master bedroom. All right. I'm turning on the Arctic Aurora in master bedroom. Set the master bedroom lights to 50% brightness. Okay. I'm setting the master bedroom to 50%. Turn on relax in the master bedroom. Okay. I'm turning on the relax in master bedroom. So as you can see there, um, the integration between Cortana and Philips Hue seems to work fairly well. And so far, my experience of it is that you can be quite fluid and flexible with the commands that you can issue. So unlike the previous video where we had to be very restrictive and we had to be very specific, about the commands that we issued to Cortana, we can now be much more fluid and flexible. Cortana will understand uh, even if I phrase the command in different ways, and you can use this to turn on lights, rooms, scenes, um, pretty much anything that you want to do with Philips Hue. So this makes it a lot more usable uh, than with the previous approach. So that means that if you're just, say, sat with your laptop in the living room and you want to um, speak to Cortana to get it to turn on your lights, you can do that. And you don't have to worry too much about phrasing it in just the right way, because Cortana will now understand this in a variety of different ways. So that makes it a lot more usable. I can see myself using this a bit more. I don't have one of the um, dedicated Cortana physical devices, uh, similar to the um, Amazon Echo or Google Home products. Um, in the fullness of time, if we ever get hold of one of those, it might be interesting to give that a try and see how well that works. I imagine it'll work in the same sort of way uh, to how it works in Windows 10, though. But nevertheless, this does seem to work quite well now. Um, 
As mentioned, in the fullness of time, presumably Microsoft will roll this out to more regions so that you don't have to change the language that Cortana is set to in order to um, have a go at using this yourself. If you'd like to read more, please have a look at the companion blog post that I've written up. You can find the link to that in the description below or check out the website newhometricks.com. If you've liked this video, please share it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.